The sun and sea is a singing beach, which is both a potential flood and a potential desert. I think Vivo recently told that it's like an apocalypse in a pastel color palette. Rose colored dresses flutter, jellyfish dance along in pairs. Before we went to Venice Biennale, we didn't even know if we ever repeat this piece. When we showed it in, in Vilnius, we first time we knew how difficult logistically it is. And now the uh, Porta Municipal Theatre, I know, I know that we know very well too. It's really difficult to, to stage it. A sun, a big uh, like the protagonist is a sun, so we have a lot of you know dilemmas how to make it bright enough and uh, equally lit in. We, we have a lot of uh, beachgoers who are joining locally and who are bringing the site-specific feeling where that the beach is local to, even though they're singing in uh, English. But we have a shower which pretends to be a sea, but there are many also rules what not to do, not to look upstairs to the audience not to whisper, not to react to music. So we teach them how to be on a beach, but other than that, they have to have a good time. For us, in general, we, this beach was sort of anthropological investigation uh, from above, where we see the humans as if like a small, some small species, some bugs, and you have this distant as human being, a distant from human beings. But so this distance sort of gives you more critical maybe approach. Mm -hmm. 